with you is tougher to lose heartbreakers like you have the last couple of games than others or losses, losses? Uh, I mean, yeah, loss is a loss, but uh, I thought there's two different types of losses, you know, a loss to where you can really just lay it down, give no effort, and just pretty much accept the loss, but I really can't complain about uh, how we played today. I think we really did a good job uh, on the defensive and we had some lapses and stuff, but overall, I feel like we had a, a really solid game put together, you know, just didn't finish us like we wanted to, but uh, I feel like we did a good job today, so this is a loss I'm not going to really soak about, you know, of course, no one wants to lose, but I'm really proud of my guys for, uh, for this game. Really felt like you did, guys just couldn't get that critical stop at the end, is that fair? Did you? You know, I don't see how I agree with that. Um, we went to zone for a minute. It was uh, definitely, it definitely stopped them for a minute from scoring, but I guess they got in the rhythm and they just uh, execute, I guess. Malik, on that last possession, did you get what you guys wanted? or? Yeah, we got what we wanted. That's a shot that I feel like I, I, I have to make. Like That's something that probably will haunt me for a minute, um, especially being in a drought. Um, losing, and um, that's a shot that I can't get back. So it's just something that I just I just gotta keep working and just stay in the gym, stay consistent. Um, I feel like that was a good shot, and it just didn't go in. Taz, um, tonight uh, Allen kind of got going for them in the second half. A lot of the stuff came at the free throw line. Um, you know, Brock has kind of had the big half for Iowa State in the last game. Uh, is, so, is any similarities into what Allen was able to do tonight and what, you know, Brockington did in the second half the other night? Did any? No, I don't think they're similar or comparable. What, what was what was the difference? Or what, what did Allen do uh, tonight in the second well, half? Well, he's more like a, a hybrid 3-4. Right. That one that you can go to the low post with a uh, very strong physical. I've been on him for a little minute. Uh, you know, it's like a 6'6", six, six strong foreman. You know, he's just a mismatch, you know, mismatch. So he, he does most of his damage inside the paint. And then uh, he gets to the free throw line really yeah. well, which I feel like under Brockington, uh, he gets to the free throw line, but he's more like a, a more pure score. Uh, I'll say I feel like Timmy Allen's more like an inside man. But, uh, you yeah, know, they, they had good games against us in the past two games. Taz, your offense has been much more efficient the last couple of games. Why so? What are you guys doing different, better? Uh, I feel like we're moving the ball better. I mean, there's sometimes, uh, myself included, where we think we're hot, you know, we just come down take a, you know, just a, a shot, you know, a heat check shot, you know. But uh, I feel like we're doing better moving the ball, uh, hitting the cutters and reading the defense a little better. Uh, I feel like we're getting more diverse with our play calling and where we're running. Uh, instead of, because you know, every team scouts, you know, we, we're not the only team that do it, so everybody knows we're already running, so we just got to find little wrinkles and add little things to keep the defense honest, and I feel like we've been doing that. Malik, uh, obviously, uh, the other night, a lot got made out of the, uh, coming out of the timeout and, and not getting what you guys wanted on that inbounds play, so when you guys are in the huddle tonight, uh, going into that last, Possession is, is Hugs any different at all? Uh, trying to get his point across of what he wants is it? Is, does it feel like a different moment uh, at all in that huddle as opposed to the huddle the, uh, the other night? Uh, I would say we we were definitely locked in on getting the ball inbound for one and getting a shot. Yeah. And we huddled with the team and then we got five guys on the floor. We huddled, made sure everybody knew where we was. Like stuff like that, we can't let that happen ever again. Like that's something that you know, as seniors, we can't let that happen. So we definitely, you know, corrected it this game. We got what we wanted. Yeah. Malik foul against you on the breakaway. Um, said as hard as you've been hit. But he, did you even know he was back there until you felt the club across the head? I mean, I th I knew he like as soon as I seen his arm come down, I thought like yeah, he's gonna foul me. Like him when we get a shot up, but like. Once I like fell and I felt his whole body fall onto me, and I hit the ground and realized like that's not a basketball play. Like it's, I just kind of just like blacked out for a second because like that's not a basketball play. That's that was unnecessary. So 
Bad yeah. foul, but I, I know Brock. Uh, I've been knowing him since high school, so mm -hmm. I know he's not a dirty player, but it's just a, it was just not, not a basketball player right there. Hard for you not to react in that instance because you, you jumped up pretty anybody, quick. I feel like anybody that's playing basketball like is going to react a certain type of way. Like That's just uncalled for, those type of fouls. Malik, on the uh, on that final possession, uh, I think it was Allen that kind of you ended up getting matched up against. Were you surprised that he's he's there, Stan? I mean, or were you hoping to get matched up against him on the last shot? Um, at a, coming out of timeout, yeah. he was guarding me. He so, was okay. Yeah, coming okay. out of timeout, so I realized that I guess that was the player that they wanted to put on me. I guess I don't know. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know if he got switched on you or. Yeah, coming yeah. out the time. Yeah, you're, you're opposite of going to the rim there. Obviously, you pulled up. You said you felt comfortable there, but you're also very good going to the rim. What, what's the option there for you? Coach said get downhill, but he was kind of sagging off. That was the last thing they wanted me to do, get downhill. Like, so I, I feel like that was the best shot I could get at the moment. And it was a good shot, and I think I'll make the shot. That was the best possible shot we could have got out of that scenario right there. Getting all the way to the rim, you never know. Like, try to get to the rim, you know, call, or you probably just run into three, four people that's down there. So that little short range, little jump shot was the best shot we could have got. Okay. Thanks, guys.